$20 for a gallon of engineered fuel seems like a pretty steep price, but then again, maybe it's actually a really good price when you consider it might be just that much better than regular gasoline. It claims to have some powerful detergents as well as some anti-wear additives included, as well as some fuel stabilizers. So let's get the testing underway and see if this engineered fuel is really any better than regular gasoline. We'll compare the fuel efficiency of engineered fuel and a fuel injected generator. We'll compare the burn characteristics using an engine with a see-through cylinder head. We'll also see if engineered fuel burns cleaner than 91 octane no ethanol fuel. Finally, we'll take product testing science to an all new level in the drag race showdown comparing engineered fuel to gasoline. The true fuel we'll be testing is four cycle engineered fuel with TF3 performance package. Ethanol free, excellent for long term storage. True fuel claims to provide protection. No ethanol means less wear and tear on internal parts, preventing downtime and costly repairs. True fuel is highly recommended for proper break in of your new equipment. According to the True Fuel website, 92 plus octane engineered fuel. Butane and benzene free. Long shelf life, five years unopened, two years opened. While I can't test the shelf life claims, I did buy this True Fuel six months ago in order to allow it to age some to see if it's still of good quality. It also claims to contain a fuel stabilizer. It claims to provide maximum power and responsiveness. We're gonna test that. True Fuel claims that it does not have ethanol content and we're gonna test that. Before we test True Fuel, let's demonstrate how the tester works by first testing fuel that does have ethanol content. We'll first add water until it reaches the water fill line. Now let's add gasoline that does have alcohol in it all the way to the top of the tester and then we'll shake the container vigorously. You'll notice the fuel immediately becomes cloudy. This is because phase separation is taking place. The alcohol is separating from the gasoline and combining with the water. So our water line started here and now the water line is all the way up to 20%. So this fuel has 20% alcohol content. Let's test true fuel first and then we'll test the no ethanol fuel that we'll be using throughout the rest of the video. True fuel is not becoming cloudy and the tester indicates that there isn't any alcohol in the fuel. Now let's test the 91 octane no ethanol fuel that I bought at Casey's General Store that we'll be using to compare against the true fuel. And the good news is, is we can say for sure that this fuel does not have any ethanol content in it. True Fuel claims that it provides better lubrication than gasoline, and we're going to test that next. We'll first measure out 40 milliliters of True Fuel. Compared to motor oil, engineered fuel and gasoline will have very poor lubrication properties. Because of that, I'm removing the five pound plate from the tester to greatly reduce the amount of downward force on the test pin. Let's add the True Fuel into the test cup. The test will last right at 30 seconds. After we test both the True Fuel and the gasoline, we'll compare the size of the wear scars on both test pins. True fuel is on the left and gasoline is on the right and I'm really surprised there's any difference between the two. As it turns out, True Fuel says it provides extra lubrication and it really does. About 7% smaller wear scar with the True Fuel compared to the gasoline. True Fuel claims to prevent deposits but does it actually burn cleaner? Before we begin the test, let's remove the cylinder head and clean up the engine. We're going to find out in the next test when we run an engine right at one hour using no ethanol fuel first and then using true fuel to see which burns cleaner. To ensure accurate and fair test results, I'll be using a new head gasket as well as spark plug for each test. Also, we'll take a compression reading after each test. Testing the 91 no ethanol fuel first. And the engine ran great on the 91 octane no ethanol fuel. It's been right at one hour. After the engine cools down, we'll take another compression reading and then we'll take a look inside of the engine. The 91 octane definitely left behind some buildup on the spark plug.
Let's remove the cylinder head and take a look inside. The inside doesn't look too bad with a small amount of deposits on the piston, valves, and cylinder head. Let's clean up the engine and we'll put true fuel to the test next. The engine seems to run just as well on true fuel as it did on gasoline. It's been right at one hour. After the engine cools down, we'll take another compression test. Then we'll take apart the engine to compare the amount of buildup between true fuel and no ethanol fuel. Let's remove the cylinder head and take a look inside. There definitely seems to be a little bit more buildup inside the engine with true fuel compared to the no ethanol gasoline. Let's check out a side by side view. No ethanol gasoline is on the left and true fuel is on the right. The true fuel spark plug, cylinder head, and the area around the valves definitely seems to have a little bit more buildup compared to the no ethanol gasoline. We'll be using this fuel injected generator next to compare the fuel efficiency beginning with no ethanol gasoline. After I add some fuel in the fuel cell, we'll warm up the engine for a few minutes. The engine is warmed up, so I'll go ahead and shut off the fuel valve and run the engine until it shuts off. Let's fill up the fuel cell and then I'll open up the fuel line so we can begin the test. During the first 15 minutes of the test, the generator will power up five halogen lights. Each light is supposed to draw around 500 watts each. Together, all five lights are drawing 2,370 watts. It's been right at 15 minutes, so I'm gonna go ahead and unplug the lights and we'll see how much longer the engine will run. The engine lasted right at 22 minutes and 44 seconds, which is the time to beat. Let's test true fuel next. I went ahead and shut off the fuel valve before adding the true fuel to the fuel cell. It's been right at 15 minutes, so I'm gonna go ahead and unplug the lights. 22 minutes and 44 seconds is the time to beat. And the generator only lasted 22 minutes and 22 seconds. So no ethanol fuel delivered a little over 1% better fuel efficiency than true fuel. Up next, we do some testing with this engine that has a see-through cylinder head. We're gonna see if we can actually see any difference in the flame pattern when the combustion process is taking place. This is our intake valve and our exhaust valve. As fuel enters the combustion chamber through the intake valve, we should see it combust and then it should go out the exhaust valve. Let's test no ethanol gasoline first. The combustion begins directly over the piston with a blue flame, which gradually becomes a bright orange and yellow. Let's test true fuel next. Just like no ethanol gasoline, the flame pattern of true fuel looks very similar. Don't be fooled by the rough exterior of the Farmer Bego. In the next test, we'll be using a highly advanced test vehicle equipped with precision built exhaust horns. Highly trained ears are incredibly accurate with exhaust horn amplification. So in the unlikely event that this drag race ends in a tie, the wind will be based entirely upon exhaust sound. Testing no ethanol gasoline first.
58 miles per hour on an uphill grass strip is a really impressive speed. It's gonna be really challenging for a true fuel to beat that time. Wow, look at how fast the fuel level is dropping. We'll need to get this test underway before we run out of fuel. miles per hour with true fuel the same as no ethanol fuel true fuel definitely seems to have won the exhaust note contest but i'll need to double circle check that yes true fuel definitely takes the win Engineered fuel performs about the same as 91 octane, no ethanol fuel, and it definitely seems really overpriced. With that being said, if you have an emergency backup generator and you need some fuel that's gonna last, it seems like a good option. All the videos in this channel are viewer suggested, so if you have a video idea, I hope you'll take time to leave a comment. Thanks so much for watching the video. Please take care, and I look forward to next time.